If you play video games and want to make YouTube videos, this video is for you. Or if you just want some good keyboard shortcuts for Premiere, this video is also for you. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be flying through timelines and crushing those edits. This video will also go along with other editing softwares. Uh, just try and apply the same philosophy to your program. So over the past two years, I've been working as an editor for a YouTuber, which you probably already know that, that's probably why you're here. His name is Maddie Hapoya, and over those past two years, I've learned how to go from a good editor to a very fast editor, and I wanna share some of the things that I've learned in my time editing, and uh, hopefully they can help you as well. The great thing about this is that it's not complicated at all, it's super simple, and it's gonna change your entire workflow. So for the philosophy of this video is, we're gonna be taking all the good shortcuts, and we're going to be remapping them to the left side of the keyboard, the same way you play your video games, everything on the left side. We're gonna take any long shortcuts and we're gonna make them single button clicks. This is essentially the secret to fast editing. And what I'm gonna do is go through my shortcuts and feel free to copy them or add your own, whatever you guys want. For example, you've probably zoomed in and out of your timeline using uh, control plus and minus over here. What I've done is I've moved those to one and two, and this allows me to zoom in and out no problem throughout the whole video without having to remove my right hand from the mouse. The next one here is X, which I have for add edit. This allows me to quickly just split my clip wherever my playhead is, and I can quickly chop up my footage this way. So in addition to after I've split my clip, I can trim the beginning of that clip using Q. So Q and W I have set to essentially trim the beginning and the end of a clip. So you can really easily chop up your footage hitting XQ, 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 and just fly through your timeline. And this allows you to never have to change your tools. T for track select forward tool. This allows me to quickly move everything to the right so I can drag out a clip or insert something in between. I use A to switch back to my selection tool. D for select clip on targeted layer. This one isn't that necessary. I just found it a bit easier than um, having to move my mouse across screen, especially if I'm color grading. I don't wanna have to go from my, my color wheels all the way over to the clips and then back to the color wheels. Um, it's just nice being able to just quickly select your clip. Yeah. G to add gain. This is for if the volume slider isn't enough and you need some more gain. This allows me to just quickly add some gain. This one's really important. I use F for fast forward. The reason this is important is if you have a 30 minute long clip, like the clip that I'm probably editing right now, I don't wanna to have to sit through that entire thing. I wanna fast forward through all the mistakes and quickly just chop to the good stuff. S for the slip tool. This allows me to just quickly uh, reframe the time on a clip. This is really good if I duplicate a clip and wanna use a different time in that clip. It's a bit quicker than having to double click and change your in and out points. This one just depends on how far you need to move. I use E for ripple delete. This allows me to quickly ripple delete without having to use my mouse. And that's essentially it. Those are pretty much all my shortcuts. Those are the keys that I use most often while I am editing. Anything else doesn't really need to be any shorter. This is These are just the ones that you know I'm using all the time while I'm editing. If there's any shortcuts that I miss or that you guys know about that you use, please let me know down below in the comments because I would love to add that to uh, my shortcuts. If this video helped you, feel free to subscribe. Also, I have a Twitch account where I play games. I also do some live editing, uh, which I'll probably edit this one on Twitch. It's too late, I've already, it's already happened, you missed it. But yeah, it's, it's a good time. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped. I'll see you next time.